Good morning, my name is Miss Green and this is my fabulous fifth grade class here at Greenwood Elementary. And today we're gonna to be doing a lesson about force and motion. Uh, we kind of started this project yesterday, uh, but I wanted to kind of review some of the vocabulary words so that we'll be good to go when we're actually collecting our data today. So yesterday we made some cars out of steam materials with our ILC Mr. Jones and we kind of constructed it in a way that we think that it will move the fastest down the hallway and we're going to test that today. But first, what is force? We talked about this a couple days ago, but force is something that happens naturally. We see it all the time, but we don't always put a name to it. What is a force? Any push or pull. A push or a pull. With your hands, show me push, show me pull. Push, pull. You all just applied force to the air, right? Um, so a force is anything that can make an object move or change direction in a certain way by that given that push or pull. Who would like to demonstrate a push or a pull? Let's see. Um, I'm thinking of House Taji. Taji is the house of leaders and their mascot is an elephant and I think elephants can they provide a pretty strong force yeah so let me have all my house Taji people stand up come up to the front right here and I want you to put as much force as you can on this wall to try to make it move are you ready one two three go push 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 oh wait okay stop Nothing happened. Did they not put force on the wall? They did. They did. They did. What? Why didn't it move? Because it's too heavy for them, and it's like super like stable, like super. It's too stable. Maybe we needed everybody to get up there and do it. Everybody, help! Let's help House Taji. Put your hands against the wall. Everybody needs at least one hand on the wall. On three. One, two, three, push, 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 oh, and stop. Wow, turn and look at me. What happened here? Liz, what happened? It got pulled. What did? How? Because your foot, all of all of our forces, like, it got pulled backwards. Oh, so you, oh, wait, wait, say that again. We were pushing on the wall, and then our feet, like, our feet and our shoes, like it was pulling backwards and it started to push the rug. Right, why did the rug move and the wall didn't? Rose. Um, because the wall is like too heavy and the rug has lighter, like lighter, is lighter than the wall because the wall is very, very heavy. Right, the wall is very, very stable. So. What is that called when a force is acting upon an object but nothing happens? It's just standing there. There are forces acting on this wall right now. The weight of the roof, right? The mass of the bricks behind it. Gravity. Things are holding this wall into place and adding force to it. But is it moving? Why? Because it's too heavy. It's strong. It's too heavy. Did you want to add to it? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And it's like strong and heavy and it's like very like stuck to the wall. And like because if it was stuck to the wall, it would just fall down all the time. True. So our force must not be what? Strong. Strong enough. Our force and gravity and the weight of the bricks and the weight of the roof, that's called a net force of zero. So how does force affect motion? How does force, like you pushing on the wall, like any of these you see on my board, how does that affect motion? Force in the 
and it creates what with a football? The force that you give the football creates motion. motion, a change in motion. So the force must occur in order for the motion to occur. Very nice. And I love how you talk about football. That's something that you love, right? Yeah. Go ahead, Dallas. Uh, so, like, when you're shooting a basketball, yes. um, you put in motion on the Absolutely. Yes. Same thing. And I love how he connected that to basketball because that's what he loves. Um, any force that you put, what, do you, what is this motion? What kind of force is that, Dallas? It's Is it a push or is it a pull? Push. It is a push. Yes. All right, everybody, stand up. You just put... A huge force, I can't see you. Oh here. You just put a huge force on the wall, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. And you were pushing as hard as you could and it didn't move. I want to see you move right now by sitting down. Ready? One, two, three, sit. Did you push something? No. Did you pull something? No. Okay, let's do it again. Stand up. And we're going to sit. Think about what your body is doing. Ready? One, two, three, sit. Did you change motion? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, and what do you think? Wait, what? Yeah, you're kind of, well, are you pushing yourself down? Pulling. What is pulling you down? So you're, yeah, you're letting that, that um, like the locking of your legs is letting your body weight come down. What is that called when the weight of something comes down? What is that force? Why don't you float in the air? Say it again. The, the gravitational Pull. We talked about that, thank you so much, when we talked about the moon and the earth and the sun and how the gravity is what holds us here. And it's also what kind of pulls the moon around the earth and how tides are formed as well. Time to test. All right, we are going to head out in the hallway and start testing our cars. However, if you still need to make some adjustments to your design, I have my glue gun warming up. I have all those stem materials back there. You will have time to make some adjustments before you do your trials. You may have a couple practice runs in here before you do your actual test runs outside. Cool? Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, let's see. One person inflates, the other person times. There is a timer on Schoology that I put on Schoology. There is a link to a stopwatch one person is going to bring their computer out there and you will use this website right here. And you will start the timer as soon as you can count down one, two, three, and then let go. The person will let go as soon as you hit start. When do you push stop? When, push when the car comes to a complete stop. Whether it hits the wall, whether it doesn't go far at all, you hit stop when it, the car stops. Then you'll measure how far I have four stations set up in the hallway with a, um, the start line, one meter, two meters, three meters, and four meters. And you'll measure to the nearest quarter of a meter. Hmm, quarter of a meter. What's a quarter? How do I know what the quarter of a meter is? Go ahead, John. Christian, what do you It is a fourth of a hole, right. John, can you come up to the board, please, and write for me what one quarter is for everyone? Okay. One quarter. Can you write the fraction? One quarter looks like one-fourth 
and that equals, what is the decimal? Can somebody tell them what the decimal is? For one quarter? 0.75. Which one? 75 for one quarter? Uh, me twos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see some me twos. Does anybody think differently? Maddox. Um, 0 0.25. Hmm. Turn and talk to your partner real quick and see what you think about who is right. 0 0.25 or 0 0.75? What do you think? Right, 75 is three quarters, right? I see some me twos going on. I see some me twos going on. Tyler, what do you think? I think it's 25 because... 25 what? Um, 0 0.25. Which is 0 and 25 cents. Ooh, cents. I love that because one coin quarter is worth... Um, 25, cents. 25 cents. But if I'm talking about a decimal, can you put equals? What is that decimal? 0 0.25. 0 and 25. Hundreds. Hundreds. Right? Can you write 0 and 25 hundredths for me? Liz, do you understand why it's 0 and 25 hundredths? Why is it 0 and 25 hundredths? Yeah, and this is another name for one fourth is one quarter. And just like he said, he made that connection with money. One quarter is twenty five cents. Great. Zero and so the decimal means and, right? Mm -hmm. Zero and so put a decimal. I just want the straight up decimal that we can use, and then write twenty five. It's okay. Here, that was a nine. Twenty five. Is that zero and twenty five hundredths? Yes, because the five is in the hundreds place. Awesome. The last thing is the character trait that I'm looking for. Um, the character trait that I'm working for, Bella, can you go up to the board, please? I would like for you to write communication, and I can help you spell it if you need me to. C-O-M-M-U-N-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. A-T-I-O-N. I'm looking for you guys to show me communication while you are putting these um, cards together and doing your tests. Thank you so much. Um, communication takes two, two parts, right? Mm -hmm. What two parts involve communication? Um, uh, working, what, working with each other and... Um, How do you work with each other by communicating? You talk, you like, One person talks. And the other person... What am I doing right now to you? No, you're talking. What am I doing? Listen. Listening. Listening. And so, thank you so much. So, while you are talking this out, kind of going through the steps, I'm looking for a couple people who will earn house points who are looking at the person when they're talking and listening to what they're saying and then also giving some positive feedback back. And it goes back and forth both ways. Yes? Yes. All right. Any questions about what we're going to be doing? You ready? All right. Your cars are already at your desks. I will be back there if you need to make any adjustments before you start testing. And I have your little recording sheets right here whenever you are ready. Um, one person's going to take their computer and their clipboard out in the hall. The other person's going to take the car. What can you do to fix that? The wheel is falling off the end. Okay, so what maybe you, could you use to keep it from falling off? Tape. Glue or tape? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, put it on the other side too. I think it's kind of falling apart. I don't think. Maybe if we use like something a little bigger, like.
like, yeah, because this is really way too, way too small. Because we need something to trace. Yeah, we need something like to trace. Wait, so maybe I need to cut, make, like, cut it. Yeah. A biggest so we can make the wheel. All right, so make your prediction first. Which one do you think is going to go the farthest? So you're going to, the half full balloon or the completely full balloon? Which one will go the farthest and why? I think the completely full balloon because it's more like air into it. So once you let go, you go like more farther. All right, put that right there. I love that. What do you think, Sahara? I think it would be the half full because that's what we've been doing the whole time and it went so yeah. far. Okay. Why might the full balloon not go very far? Are you ready? Because like maybe, maybe since like the full balloon is like larger, it might put on, put on pressure on the car and make us go. Could it could. Rose, are you ready? I'm oh, yay! Oh, okay. So that would be what? What do you think this would be? Did it get all the way to one meter? No. No. So what is a fraction that's less than one meter? Is it? So where would, where, back up. This is zero. This is one. What's right in the middle? One half. Is it greater than a half or less than a half? Greater. So what's a fraction that's greater than a half but less than one whole? If you're thinking about quarters. Three fourths, right? Which was what decimal? Zero point seventy-five. Four, three, two, one, go. Whoa! Look, it went. All right, so those of you that did your trials, what did you notice about your car and how far it went and maybe some things that you might change to make it work better? Um, me and Rose's car kept just going off to the side. Okay. And maybe we can change the direction of it and our car got to 2 and 12 seconds. Okay, so what might you do to your car to make it go straight? Um, can you raise the answer? Sure. Um, we might change the wheels a little bit so they don't, like, keep turning. Or, like, maybe, like, change the weight because, you know, how, like, weight could, like, make it turn more. So yeah, so maybe if you added a little bit of weight or more mass to your car and then straightened up the wheels or made the wheels more smooth, then it would go straight. Yeah. Good idea. I love that. Elena, what happened with your trials? Um, ours, it went straight, but it was kind of like slow on the first one, so maybe blow up the balloon more and it would go faster. Blowing up the balloon more. Do you think, how do you think blowing up the balloon more would make it go faster? Um, by like the pool of it. Right, so I wanted you all to kind of notice that we were not pushing or pulling with our bodies like we did on the wall. How was the car being propelled forward? What was the force that was making it go forward? Air. Air. The air doing what? The air being forced out of one tiny little hole, and that makes, it gives it enough force to push it the other way, right? Very nice. Thank you so much for joining our fifth grade lesson here on Force and Motion here at Greenwood Elementary School, where we are five houses. We are one family. We are grateful, accountable, trustworthy, optimistic, and respectful. G-A-P-O-R.